All right. Good evening, Stranger Pings. All right. I haven't l watched this one before. I know I said I was going to stop doing that, but I also haven't delivered you a video in a little bit. So we are on Towers of Doom. While it is loading, I've got you a list of bands and such. So the opponents banned Asmo, KT, and Rainer. We banned Diablo, Falstad, and Jaina. Um, I don't mind our bands. There's are a fair amount of places for Diablo to get wall smacks. Um, any global hero and Jaina to take out some bursty mage. I don't mind that at all. Prepare yourself for battle, heroes. All right, Cadet is tanking. Akimbo's off lane. Wesley are one of your favorites there with Cassia. We do have a global with Moosebrow on our friend Brightwing. Ghost on one of your favorites there with Coldan. I love Bribe myself. Do know so it talks about the five stacks when hitting an enemy hero with the center. Try to figure out how to do that because you will ramp up the stacks. Okay, so here we have more to stack in the center than they do, and that is because of Echoed Corruption. So we want to try to stick them with some echoed corruptions. Obvious places like the bush. Oh, I gotta get off of Goldan. That was a good cleanse. All right, we're taking a lot of damage there mainly because they're five. So if they are five, we want to stay back, abuse the terrain, and try to hit them with things like Corruption and the throw the spear. Cassia, sorry, I don't know the name of that one. Ooh, and Cadet, missed, or uh, lost connection. So we're basically even on experience. Kimbo, I would say hide here. If he comes after you, you still have a 20% speed boost. But I don't know that you are in range of all of the minions. Now granted, it's probably only one, but I like the freezing. So we have better wave clear than Varian because of Dark Swarm. Get the camp. Good work. See, and he here, where he's lost so much life, ignore the minions and just go after him. You're trying to put more damage on him so that he has to back and you start winning the soak war. We lost a new barack. Sorry, I missed that. I was focusing on the solo lane, but we if we're just damaging him and the minions are pushing in eventually they're going to be at such a dangerous point over here and he's going to be so low that you're just going to be able to bully him away from it okay we can only see three on the map so just like the last one we reviewed we know they're going to be on this camp we just that's a given So our choices there when we know where they're going to be is we can either get value somewhere else or we can try to disrupt them. Nice. So here, that just reset on him. So now his efforts on that camp were a little bit wasted. Now what sucks is Arthas, and we can see him on the minimap, but Arthas got ours. But at the end of the day, we're not as worried about that. We got bottom. We're still pushing bottom. We're getting as much value here as they will be able to get. You still have minions there. You didn't quite have to back yet. Checking 
first axe ghost. That was a good use of terrain, Cadet. I thought you were dead. So, fantastic use of terrain. Okay, they're missing to us. We only see one on the map. Golden wants to back up. Ooh. Okay, now we see three of them there. Good move on the camp. Okay, we see lots of them. Ooh. Just get out, Wesley, if you can, which you may not be able to. Akimbo, it was valiant of you to come in in defense of your comrade, but unfortunately they had the numbers advantage. Um, Ghost, you can be dumping from up here and even this channel here and be pretty safe to get in on their team and the odds of them catching you is extremely low. Varian's trying to solo the boss. I think he's gonna get it if he's not stupid. But at this point we've seen Varian be missing for a while. We want to create a 4v4 five or a five v four if you will. The other option is we say okay he's either on this camp and we check the boss just in case. <laughs> Alright, he was either stupid or unlucky. I'm gonna go with stupid. Okay, we know they're gonna hit ten before us, so unless we get some massive team wipe we just need to play safe. Ooh. So close on Morales there. Oh no. Okay, they're 10. We should be running for our lives. Same thing, Akimbo, you can be hiding in this bush. That was the wrong place for Arthas to ult. I get that they're here and they can push in, but... Good damage, good damage. Way to juke their ult. Great polymorph, that was my favorite part of that fight right there. The time is now, heroes. Claim the altars in my name. So we should be able to poke while getting ten. Ooh, 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 ooh. Are they gonna give it to us for free? No. Okay, we need to back out. This is a short replay, fellas. That scares me now. Okay, we know they had a numbers advantage here, but we don't see them. It is safe to assume that Varian went on to their camp. Um, we would want to check this camp as safe as possible, and so that could be Gul'dan here with the uh, corruption. Nice getaway, but oi. Oh, beautiful horrify and focus on the Orphea. Nice. Focusing Varian. Yeah, great polymorph. But we could have been able to polymorph drag. Even. Yeah. Twin 
Dragon Blades is wrecking us. have to answer bottom or take three shots. Their positioning was trash, but it worked out. Yeah, next time on that, we need to come in strong together and just try to fight it mid, unfortunately. Because if we can get a kill, then we can still probably block these and poke long enough until we're back up. Yeah, they're gonna get this, we need to give it. Yikes. Alright, so good news, we got mid back. Bad news, we can't lose toast now. Though I do like that he took isolation. Yeah, they're gonna be able to boss, they're gonna be able to six cap us, probably. They rotated slow. Getting this back is fine, but there's so many on the map that they're going to be able to finish if we don't force them somewhere. Oh, so close. Okay. We died a lot, unfortunately. Um, and there was enough early that they hit 10 early and then they just kept pushing it. So on this one, and I get it, Storm Leagues a lot of times is very one-sided feeling right now while they're working on everything matchmaking. But it, this one was tough. Um, we need to be looking for those times where we are a numbers advantage or where we can create a numbers advantage and Dahaka gives us that and so for example if we have on the very first shrine or altar phase all three of these pop we can have Dahaka and one person be here and we poke the bottom so if they try to come in on us we're safe and we can get this one capped because one person zoning the other person's picking it up we have Dahaka and Brightwing in theory both of them could be up here their one person caps here boom we come in we're five here versus their four maybe even their three and we we can hopefully get a kill before they all get there or we get people low enough that now they have to give the objective um, we want to put priority on camps, but we we face checked this bush multiple times. We just walked in. We have spit. We have whatever Cassia's dang Q is called. Uh, lightning fury. Lightning's furies. Okay. But we have the ability to to check this bush safely. Spit, corruption, impale. Lightning Fury, we got everybody but Dahaka has a way to check that bush safely. And unfortunately, we face checked it a couple times and they were waiting for us. And so they found out they could punish us. They kept punishing us. Uh, we got one bottom altar on the first time and then they just ran away with it. It's a bummer. I, again, 
we want to learn from it. We don't need to beat ourselves up about it, but we want to learn from it. So when we have two globals to their none, maybe one later on, maybe two really late on, but we we want to abuse that fact. So I would say having a bright wing into Hakka take this one and then teleport here is great. If they haven't capped this one and we see four here, the Hakka and Brightwing go over and get this one and we just keep poking bottom trying to position ourselves such that we can keep up the soak while poking somebody, I guess this isn't bottom, it's mid, on the mid objective. And so we want to force that wherever possible. And it really, if we get the top two, the Hakka just starts soaking again. Brightwing rejoins the foreman either through teleporting in or through just slowly flapping her wings down there. But as soon as we get two, we don't even care. And really, we don't care that much about the first objective if we only get one, if it means that we're picking up value, especially bottom. We want to own bottom. We never quite got this one. They got ours, and that was something that put us in a world of hurt. Um, so apologies for this one. One, being a short video. Two, being a first impression video. And three, probably sounding like a tired, sloppy idiot. So, Stranger Pings, I believe in you guys. We're going to have some great stuff. I promise to put a little more time into the next one. But have fun in the Nexus, and feel free to hit me with any questions. I'll talk to you later.